Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of PC gaming optimization. Unlike the user-friendly interface of settings, the registry gives you unparalleled control over your system without any restrictions from Windows itself. Today, we're going to walk you through some tried and tested registry hacks that will supercharge your gaming experience. So sit back, grab your favorite gaming beverage, and let's dive into the world of Windows Registry Hacks for Gaming Optimization. The easiest way to open the Windows Registry is to search for Registry in Windows Search and open the Registry Editor app. Go ahead and click on Run as Administrator. Before making any edits, it's crucial to back up the registry to ensure you can fix it in case of an incorrect entry. Thankfully, it's really easy to do that. Once the registry opens, click on the file menu and select export from it. Save this file somewhere safe so you can access it later. To make things easier for you, I'll give you the exact location of the keys that you need to edit for each hack. You can just copy and paste it in the search bar right where computer backslash is written and the registry will open the exact location. In the registry editor, move to the following location. You can copy it from the video description below and paste it. In the power throttling key, there will be a power throttling off entry in the right panel. Open it and change its value to one. If the entry isn't there, then right click on power and create a new key, name it Power Throttling, then create a new DWRD 32-bit value entry under Power Throttling and name it Power Throttling Off. Once created, change its value to 1. Moving next, copy the following path under the video description and paste it on Registry Editor. Double-click on Network Throttling Index and set its value to 8F. Next, we are going to optimize TCP protocol. Copy the following path from the video description and paste it on the registry editor. We are going to change the following values as you can see here in this screenshot. If you open the location and can't see these values, then we can add them one by one, as you can see now. Right-click on Parameter and select New DWORD 32-bit value, name it Default, and change its value. Do this with any missing values and you're done. Now moving on, we are going to disable the CPU core parking. Copy and paste this location from the video description to the registry editor. Double click on attributes and change its value to zero. Next, we are going to tell the registry editor to prioritize games. Copy the following location from the video description and paste it to the registry editor. Change the following values as following.
If a value doesn't exist, right-click on Games and add a new DWORD 32-bit value entry and name it to the missing value as the table here shows. Once added, go ahead and change its value as also shown in the table. Next, go ahead and decrease maximum pre-rendered frames. Go to this location in the registry. Here, create a new DWORD 32-bit value entry and name it. Max pre-rendered frames. Once created, change its value to 1, which will mean that only one frame is pre-rendered. Next, move to this location in the registry. Here, change the value of system responsiveness to 10, and you're done. Restart your PC and see the magic. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, it really makes a difference to me. Thank you, and see you guys in the next one.